Somebody told me you want to make a hat rack. You didn't came to the right place. Let's go to the store. So we're here at Home Depot. We're going to run in here and pick up a chain. You need to come to the rope aisle. The rope aisle should be in aisle 13. If it's not in aisle 13, I need you to call the manager. Tell him that the rope is in the wrong aisle. This is what we're looking for right here. See that? I'm going to make a six foot hanger. That's about six foot right there. It's a good idea to take a picture of that so you can show the people at the counter. Hey, what's up? Can you ring this up for me? It should be about uh, six foot. You know how long that was? Six foot. Okay, six, yeah. I mean, I can. No, that's cool. It's six foot. It should be. I just wanted to make sure if I was all the way right. How tall is you? <laughs> <laughs> all right. If that's how you measure it, that's cool. Well, no, it's all good. I'm tripping. Sure. people in my family that are six foot. Okay. So, so how tall you think I am? 5'11". I'm six foot on tender, okay? All right, thank you. Have a good day. All right, next we about to head to Dollar Tree. Go get the other piece. We need to come to the stationary aisle. And what you're looking for are these. As a matter of fact, they got, they got two different ones. We're gonna get two of these 10 clips. You can get away with one, but we might be able to fit more than 10 on there. So we're gonna get 20. Good right. looking out. Dollar right. twenty five. You need to call that the dollar and a quarter tree. Alright. This is what you're gonna need for this. A couple set of these. Your chain, which came up to, let's see. Four dollars and thirty cent, and then you're gonna need a pair of needle nose pliers. Now, if you don't have a pair of needle nose pliers, you can go to the Dollar Tree and get one for a dollar. Excuse me, you can get one for a dollar twenty-five because everything done went up right now. So I'm gonna show you how to put all this shit together. So this is how we're gonna do this. First, you open up this package of clips. Take all the ends and flip them back like this. Once you get that done, you want to find the end of your chain. No matter which end it is, either end, you pull this one. And you want to take your needle lows, and right where you cut it at, you want to, want to open up this piece like this. See that? I'm going to bend that open to where I got a hook like that. I'm going to take this little hook piece off like that, and I'm going to leave that shit open. So what we're going to do is when we put it around whatever we're going to hang it from, we will fold it back in on itself, and it'll hold in like that. See that? So wherever that's gonna be at, this next chain that's right below it, you wanna open that up. So you just pry it open like this a little bit. Then you'll take one of your clips, clip it in like so, and then close it up like that. So you want it to look like that. Then we're gonna count four down. We're gonna count one, two, three, four. On this fourth one, we're going to bend, open it up, open it up just a little bit more, grab another clip, hook it on, take your pliers, seal it closed, like so. Then we're going to count another four, one, two, three, four. We're going to repeat this process till we get to the bottom of the chain. All right, so now that you see on this six foot chain, I got about, probably about a good foot left the chain. So I probably could have fit, let's see, one, one, two, three, four, maybe about five more of these clips on here. So remember that you might want to get one more pack of clips when you're making a six foot chain, but this should probably 
20 clips should be perfect for a five foot chain. All right, so what we're gonna do is take it over here, undo this right here. Where we uh, hanging at? We gonna go hang this bitch up. Come on. So this coat rack right here is about seven foot off the ground. And as you see down here, moody shoes and shit. A six foot chain is perfect for a seven foot pole because say if your last clip is down here, your last hat would hang from here. I'm gonna go see if I can find some more clips and fill the rest of this in. I found some more clips down here at the bottom. Here's one of the clips right here for size. Compared to this size, it's a little bit smaller, but it's still gonna work. It's not about how the size of it, it's just about how strong this pinch is. So what we're gonna do next is hang some hats on here. So now here's the easy part. All you do is you pinch open like this, stick your hat in, let it go. There you go. Get you another hat. Pinch this open, have it like that. Do I have to pinch it on the end here? Can I pinch the brim? Fuck yeah, you wanna pinch the brim? You can do it just like that if you want to. Can I can I pinch the side, motherfucker? I don't give a fuck how you pinch it on. Look, you can do it sideways. So I'm gonna finish filling this all the way up and show you what it look like. What y'all know about that? I made that, that's the only one in America. You might say, hey, will it hold different kinds of hats? Sure. Does it hold a visor? Yeah, it'll hold a visor. But will it hold a Kango? Yeah, it'll hold a Kango. Cowboy hat up on there. Just like that. But can I put a pimp hat on there? Can I put a hard hat on there? Yeah, you wanna put a bunny on here? Put a bunny on here. You can put any hat you want to on here. Some of my Middle Eastern friends might be like, can I put my Shekma on there? I hold that bitch too. You can even put a Jimmy hat on this motherfucker if you want to. That's it right there. Let me take a step back so you can get the full effect. And I got plenty more spots. I probably got like about six open spots here. And the thing is that when you make this, you want to make it a foot shorter than where you're hanging it at. So when you hang your one at the bottom, so say you hang your last one right here, if you hang it down there, it'll still be enough clearance to where it don't touch the ground. See what I'm saying? I think I got 26 racks or 26 places to hang things on here. And that's it. That's how you make a hat rack for fuck less than $10. Now I know it's bound to be one of y'all out there that's gonna be like, but wait, I got hats and I got a hat rack, but I ain't got nowhere to hang the hat rack. And you know what I say to that? I say that's bullshit. You ain't applying yourself. You can hang a hat rack off of almost anything. You can hang it off a closet rod, a nail. A hook. Spank the booty. Eat the booty. Smell the booty. Be the booty. A flagpole. of an airplane. A cross. A bitch's ear. Wherever the fuck Jeffrey Epstein hung himself. And if all else fails, you can always hang them off of these. These what, sir? These nuts! <laughs> wow, good one. 